I'm at the thrift store and I'm today is yellow. Everything that's yellow tagged is half price. And this will be $2.50. Yes, I'm buying a bagel maker. And this today is gonna be $1.50. Look at this. If I can get a hole through the top without breaking it, this will go on top of this. I'll have to show you once I'm home when I've got plants. But look at, I think this will be perfect. A cute little water fountain. I can have the pump come up and the water just dribble down to the bottom and put some rocks. And because it's got this weaving in it, see the weaving? It won't be watertight. It might work really good. I'm going to go with that. Well, I'm home from the thrift store with my find. What I'm planning on doing with this is I'm going to see if I could be successful in drilling a small hole. This is kind of like a porcelain, clay, it's ceramic. I bought another pump and I want to put something together a little different. And what I want to do is put the pump under here and bring up the hose to the top and just have it dribble down. It doesn't even have to do anything fancy because the bowl I bought for this is a little bit on the small side. So if I had it squirting up in the air, you'll miss the bowl and it will empty out within 15 minutes. So what I have to do is see if I can make a hole on the top and I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I might actually use my super duper 300 glasses to make sure I'm doing this right. It was $2.99, I got it for half price yesterday. This is my Dremel tool, so I'm gonna see if this will work, and if it doesn't work, I'll do something else. It's a lot thicker than I thought it was. <laughs> Gary has got a ceramic drill that may actually work better now that I started it. And I'm part way through. I'm all, not all the way through. But now that I've broken through the glaze, I'm going to try it again. If it doesn't work, I'll have Gary finish it with his drill. I can almost see that it looks like it might be going through. The problem is making the hole big enough for this to come through. But his drill might be able to go through once I break that ceramic really good. through but it's not big enough so since my thing is not big enough the other thing is I didn't charge it up so it doesn't have the power it should have I forgot to charge it but I charged it a little bit this morning okay I have gotten through so now I'm gonna see if I can get this hole a little bit bigger then I'll be able to put this through and what will happen is this will go up to the top and I'll pick out I may not pick out any of the pieces. I might just shove this through the top and then grab, whoops, grab one of these pieces that will go in on here to hold it. So once I have the rubber piece through, I might just leave it like this and then it will just dribble off unless I find, you know, I might put this on actually and do it that way. And then it will just go down the sides into the bowl and the pump's going to be underneath, and it should be really cool. I think it's going to look really cool. So let me try one more time, see if I can get a little bit more, and if not, I'm going to see if Gary's got his drill around, because this doesn't have the power as his drill. The other thing is, I am using these glasses because, they, yes, they are powerful, so I can really see every detail I'm doing, but also, like, for safety glasses. So this way, if something jumped back, 
I do have something on me. just a little more powerful, I'd have it done in seconds. Gary's drill after all. And I want to do a really tight fit so if the water runs back down the center of the inside here of the candlestick, I want to make sure it doesn't go back inside because I'll lose the effect. Look at this. Of course I should have tightened that before I did that. I'm going to make sure this stays on and then I'm going to cut this. I just don't know yet how much. And I'm going to straighten this out, get this cut, put this on, and go outside and try my new pump. Look at that. Is that cool? I'm so excited. Because that's what I did. I went to the thrift store and I looked around at all the stuff and they had a lot of stuff half price. Yellow tags were half price yesterday and I looked at this and I like this. This will be underneath because this will... Okay, that's all attached to the solar. Let's not break this after I did all this work. This will be attached to the other end. I just don't want to cut it until I've got it in the bowl. I have it ready to go. This will simply go on here. This is going to be underneath. And the only thing coming out will be this little wire. And I'm thinking of maybe taking a little bit off, but... But the bowl I got that I want to use has this design. So this won't be sitting completely flat anyways. So that little wire shouldn't cause any problems. I'm going to put some rocks around to anchor it down and it will stay put. Let's go take it in. Let me go trim it up, take it in the garden, and let's see what it looks like. I don't wear glasses. I don't need glasses. <laughs> let's go in the garden now. Okay, now we're in the garden and I've got my water, I've got my bowl that I want to use. I still have to cut this. So what I'm going to do, I've pushed that through, so that's got my water fountain now on the top there. I've got to analyze where I want to cut this. So this is going to be underneath, but I don't want to cut it too short which would, wouldn't be that bad, but I'd have to cut another piece afterwards. So let's make it a teeny bit longer than I need. This is the hose I got at the Tropical Fish Store. I love it. Look how soft it is. I just bought two more of these solar pumps. I don't know how many I've got now. I'm going to have to go to uh, what a rehab for solar pumps. Now, it looks like I could go a little shorter, but I don't want to pull it out. The main thing is, the pump's got to be in water. You know, I think I can go a little shorter. Just that, a little bit shorter, but the thing is, I've got to be able to get my hand in there. See, this piece comes off that's on the pump. I'm going to go a tiny bit shorter. Put that back on. I don't want to go too much because I'll have to start all over if I go too much. 
and I don't want to pull it out because I've already got snug just the way I want it. If you have any problems with this rubber tubing I found out from the fish store, they said heat it up a little bit in hot water and then you can really get a good seal. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully it doesn't kink. You know what? I'm going to undo this. You don't need that wire. It is a little longer than I want, but I won't be able to work with it. The other thing you can do to anchor this, I could put a couple rocks around and that would hold it in place. Okay, this rock's a little big, but you get the idea. This is what I've got. Now, let's fill it with water and see if it works. My concern on this bowl is a little shallow, so you could use a thicker, you know, a heavier, deeper bowl. But this is it. Let's see. Drum roll, because you and I are doing this for the first time together. I have not tested this in any way. Okay. Here's the problem. I have no sun. We may have to come back when the sun comes back. I hear the pump working. And when you first turn them on, they do have to prime. But again, I have almost no sun. It's shady. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Look at this. And that's what I want. I want it to trickle down this little star shape and just run all day when the sun comes up. Is that cool? Am I excited? Yes. <laughs> you did this with me. It could have been a failure. And you know, oh, there we go. I got to make sure this stays in the sun. But this is how easy it is to make things. People have asked me, and you know, how do you do it? Where do you put it? Do you put it under water? How do you hook it up? It's splashing a little bit, but the thing is, I think once it, it settles down, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, it's gonna drip down. This rock is too big. I have to get a smaller rock. But people have been asking me, you know, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I had no idea how to do a solar pump. I, I didn't know what it was to do a water fountain. I mean, it was like, where was the pump? Are you going to get electrocuted? I had no concept of what you do with a pump until I saw these one day, and I think I stumbled onto it online, and it was like, wait a minute, they're selling a whole setup, and they were solar. So I started looking up solar, and I found them for under $10. And the first time I got it, I just went wild. I mean, there's so many things you could do. I mean, I just made this cute, cute setup. And what did this cost me? Um, $2.50, $4. And I made the setup that I want. See, like something like this. I've got an old pumpkin from Halloween. And there's a hole already in it. I guess it was for a candle. You can put a candle in it. I could put this in a bowl. And I could have water dripple, dripping down on a pumpkin in the garden. You could do anything. If you didn't want to have anything, you could just sit it inside on something. You could, here's something else you could do, and I don't have a bowl. You could take a flower pot, a clay flower pot. I don't have, here's a flower pot. It's dirty, but you'll get the idea. You could take a flower pot, turn it upside down that has a hole in the middle, and you could have the same effect of dripping down a flower pot if you wanted to. You can make anything you want out of this. I am just so crazy about this thing, but look at this. It's so cute. Now, the problem with the caps, and I've told you this before on other videos, if I put a cap on, this will really squirt really cute and it will squirt out and it will be empty in 15 minutes. This is exactly what I wanted. The birds are gonna hear the water. They're gonna come land on the rocks. If I put more rocks in, they can do a better bath instead of just drinking water out of it. But look how cute that is. No joke, 
you and I did it together because I did not test this. I had no idea. I had an idea it would work, but I, if it didn't work, it didn't work. I, I was just going to put the pump somewhere else. But look at that. I like color. So I, I think I gravitate all the time at color. And I saw this swirly design with purple and, and kind of a teal. And I thought, this is so cute. And I started looking through and I found this fruit bowl, ceramic. I would prefer outside, by the way, to go with glasses or ceramic or maybe stainless steel. Because if you go with plastic, uh, especially the clear plastic, it will break down with water in it. And it'll last, but I think it's better to have glasses or ceramic. But I saw the bowl and I thought, you know, the colors are okay, it'll work. And there you go. I'm going to set this up in my garden now. I just need a level place, somewhat level. Going to put this up in the air so this gets to the sun. And I made my own solar water feature. And that's how easy it is. So when people ask, how do you do it? You get the solar panel. You got that little pump. And then from there, you can put the, oh, as long as that pump is completely underwater, that, not this, but completely underwater, you can do anything and you can put it into anything. You've got a, any bowl, any flower pot, like I said, a fancy flower pot, turn it upside down. There's usually a hole there and you can put a water feature. If I wanted to use one of these caps, which squirt, See, they, well, actually, this one's not too bad. Yeah, see, it squirts. The only thing you would have to do is get a big bowl. You can get something this big if you wanted to, if you've got something in your yard. But just a bigger bowl. This is a very small bowl, and this is exactly what I wanted to do, to just trickle down and make that slight little noise. But there it is. We did it together. I am very proud of myself. I hope I, hope I can make more. I want to make a whole bunch more. So with that, I'm going to put this away. I don't need a scissors anymore. Now I just have to find a place for this and get this up. As far as the solar panel, I've had some people ask me, what do you do with the solar panel? You can hang it anywhere. You can hang it on the side of your house. Um, you can lay it flat on top of something. That you're going to have to get creative with and figure where you want it. I've laid it in my plants and it's fine until something knocks it over. So I made these little baskets out of, well, they're dishwasher racks, but I've just used wire as well. And you can just, as long as you, you know, you have some place to lay this, it should be angled towards the sun. And that's it. This, you can put this anywhere. See? Now this, now we just got cloudy, but the main thing is if it doesn't have sun, it's going to stop. And we have a very cloudy day. I don't know if you can tell, it's still running on a cloudy day. So as long as it's getting some sort of rays from the sun, it will work. And that's the main thing you need to do is just find some place that's flat. Oh, you can use anything. Come on, you can get a piece of wood and just stick a piece of wood, a stick with a piece of wood on top. Um, a, a tomato basket. You can get a tomato I, I wouldn't even go spend the money. I would look around, you'll find a place. Put on a chair temporarily. Just an outdoor chair and then figure out from there where you want to go. But that's the main thing. Get this out in the sun. Make sure that little pump is in the water and then you don't have to add a plastic tubing like I did. I just did it because I wanted it to go to the top of the candlestick. You don't have to do that at all. You, you can just stick it onto anything and then you can go from there. I'll make some more so we can see, experiment with different ones. But today we did this. That was my Goodwill find yesterday. Did that. That's my relaxation, to get away and just walk through Goodwill and look around and see what I can find. So have a great day. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And the birds love this and they'll eat the bugs in your garden. And they'll come here and take a bath and they'll and drink some water and they'll appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.